recently i visited in engineering college just like yours and when i was returning back i heard a voice sir i need your help when i looked back i saw an young man just a graduate seeking my attention so i waited for him to come to me and he handed over his resume to me and saying sir my name is prabhas and i need your help to get a job i was curious to understand what is he about to say is he asking for a job without an interview then i started looking at his resume in his resume everything was good he has a good cgpa he wrote some white papers he contributed to some hackathons in my mind i was thinking everything is perfect in this resume what could be probably the reason for him to feel like this to be in this situation then he continued to say sir i have written five interviews so far and all the written test i passed but all the oral interviews i failed and i consider myself an introvert and i think it is coming in my way of success can you help me being an introvert myself i could immediately see his pain and i decided to help him many people think that being an introvert is a challenge and many people think extroverts have an unfair advantage when it comes to job or progress in life a research finding in 2006 found that more than 65% of senior leaders corporate senior individuals felt that being introvert is a roadblock for their leadership growth the truth is both introverts and extroverts have amazing qualities introverts being an introvert is not a disadvantage to you you see this research report 90% of the time they are hearing somebody and thinking about them and not talking it makes them great listeners and when you are a great listener you have a lot of empathy in understanding others better and this is what made me understand prabhas's situation when he said sir i am not getting the job and i decided to help him while introverts are good ceos have great listening capabilities they have good analytical capabilities there is a alarming finding published in wall street journal in 2009 which shows that introvert ceos are only 2% if you see this the last point here introvert ceos are only 2% while they started while general population is 50 50 as they start progressing in the leadership cadre just 2% in the top executives so what happened to the rest 98 the 98% are either extroverts or semi extroverts called ambiverts truth is corporate shows bright limelight on extrovert people because of their social attributes so what happens to introverts where does this leave them how can introverts contributions can be shown without they becoming somebody else the easiest way for them is to embrace their own self the authentic self so how can one can embrace their authentic self and demonstrate them in their actions is there a structured approach before i tell the structured approach let me share you a personal story of mine how i came across with this approach and how i created this approach it's called three shift framework and this approach is designed by me so since childhood i considered myself as an introvert and i studied hard i worked hard and i got into a job but the reason i got into the job is because of not my skill but there was a very good interviewer who understood me well and comforted me i got into the job and after getting into the job i couldn't you know demonstrate my capabilities just like my extrovert friends they used to get lot of appreciations and recognitions from clients my supervisors pretty easily compared to me but since i was a good programmer i was able to demonstrate and then get my credibility i was an individual contributor at that time see being an individual contributor you can easily do that but what happens is as you grow up in the ranks of the leadership at some point of time you are responsible for many things you are responsible for your visits client visits sales activities delivery activities and leading large programs there was one visit where 20 senior people from client side came and visited us it was a strategic deal 
and it was my account. So I worked almost non-stop for one month, created beautiful presentations, handled the entire visit well. But when it came to the time of presentations, I became nervous. I gave up. The visit went well. We won the contract. But personally, I lost the opportunity. I lost the opportunity to present my skills and capabilities. So this framework has three gears. Yeah? So gear number one is called identity shift. You identify today yourself with somebody. But the truth is you are much more bigger than who you are today. But you don't know it yet. So identity shift is a mechanism wherein you can start discovering who you are. What are your strengths? What are your values? What are your goals? What is your vision in life? And when you start working towards this, you start seeing a lot of inner power. You identify a new person out of you. So the vision, values, goals, strengths, all of these together create, once you have awareness to all of them, you become a new person altogether. What does it do does to you? It creates a lot of awareness about yourself and creates a lot of inner power. Just like when you put gear one on the motorcycle, what do you feel? You feel the power of the vehicle, right? You see the power. In the same way, when you have identity shift, you feel the power of yourself. This is step number one. The next shift is called mindset shift. When you put the gear number two on the vehicle, what happens? You see the power and you start picking up speed and you balance them. In the same way, when you do the mindset shift, you balance your success and failures. Because you have clarity on your goals, you start working on them, you will have success, you will also have failures. But you need to balance them well. When I lost my promotion because of a poor performance in a client visit, did I give up? No, I did not give up. Did I stop working on myself? No, I did not stop working on myself. I used that failure as an opportunity to break it. And I outgrown the failure. This is called growth mindset. So when you maintain growth mindset, you never give up. Your mistakes are your stepping stones for your success. You learn from every mistake. So I choose to be in the growth mindset consciously because I have awareness of who I am. I have an identity that I define who was better than the previous person. Then the next shift, the third shift is called skill set shift. Once you have awareness of what you want, what kind of person you want to become, you maintain a growth mindset where you don't give up. It's all about learning skill. You just learn the skill. It can be Java, it can be marketing, it can be cybersecurity, it can be any skill. Because of the step one and step two, the gear one and gear two, you have a very clean mindset. And with the clean mindset, without any negative biases inside you, you can learn faster because there is nothing to stop you. So when you put gear, above gears in the vehicle, you balance the power, speed, and efficiency of the engine, right? In the same way, when you go to the higher gears here, you balance the efficiency of the brain, and you touch upon something called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is your ability to learn faster. But neuroplasticity happens faster when you're emotionally aligned to your goals without fears, without biases. So that's the shift number three. The first shift, which is called identity shift, gives you clarity. Clarity about who you are, similar to this driver. The second shift, which is called mindset shift, gives you courage. Courage to go through the failures, just like how I went through the failure. The third shift, which is skill set shift, gives you confidence. Together, they become success loop. So, first you take a smaller, smaller goal, and slowly, when this is successful, you take a bigger goal. When you are successful like this, you take another bigger one that takes you closer to your goals. This is called success loop and success cycle. And three shift methodology can make it happen in a scientific way, in a structured way. So what happens when you go to the success loops, especially for introverts? So if you see, this is an introvert-extrovert scale. Extroverts are somewhere here, ambiverts and introverts. When you make this framework, when you go through this framework, you go in a structured way, move yourself towards this dimension. You are okay 
being in limelight. Today I'm an introvert, but I'm okay being in limelight. When you have awareness to yourself, when you take a growth mindset, you move your spectrum. Unless you move your spectrum, you can't get recognition at the workplace. You can't get success in the workplace. Because you should be the one who is branding yourself and it is your responsibility to make it happen. And it can only happen when you move the spectrum. So this is what I've been coaching Prabhas, the guy who couldn't clear five interviews. And then he asked me, sir, can I now go and apply for the jobs? I said, absolutely, yes. So he started applying again. This one day where I was busy with a meeting and I, I didn't check my phone, I saw like 20 missed calls. Then I checked who called, my wife? No, <laughs> it was Prabhas. And he called me in a frantic mode and he said, sir, I have this th final round of interview and you are not available, what should I do? I am confused, I was fearful. That's when I created the digital twin for Prabhas. How many of you have used Google Maps in your life? Just say yes, I can't see any of you, but say an yes. <laughs> Go from a place A to place B. Let's say you missed a direction. Google Maps says, make a U-turn. If you miss again, it says hey, there is an alternate route do you want to consider. It never says, hey, how many times I should tell you not to miss the route. Isn't it? It doesn't shout on you. You stupid, you miss the route again. It has empathy. It is trained to give you answers in an empathy manner. That's an AI algorithm. But what if you have a personality like you, which is you, how you think, how you feel, you create an AI model for yourself. If you can create that kind of personality for yourself, it is called digital twin. And today, with the proliferation of AI, you can create a digital twin pretty easily. You need to try it just for a short period of time. So I created one for Prabhas. And Prabhas started training himself with the digital twin. And I told him, use this digital twin when I'm not available, ask the question. Because it knows you, it gives you the answer. The difference is, in real world, you'll be hijacked by fear and negativity. But in the digital twin, you will not be having any such things. It is always logical. Many decisions we make are all emotional. But sometimes we don't make rational decisions in emotions. But if you have a digital twin, that can help you. So Prabhas started training himself with the model. There was one day where I was not available again. He had an interview. He was getting tensed. And he asked his digital twin, I'm experiencing this fear. What should I do? And the digital twin replied, this image is also generated by AI, by the way replied, imagine you have a 10-year younger sister who is experiencing similar fear and pain like you. What would you say her? That reply from AI made him to pause. Then he thought, what would I say her? Oh, you have done fa fabulous job. You have good CGPA. You have done these white papers. Then he said, why can't I say to myself? That made the shift for him. That created inner power surge for him. And he faced the interview. And a few weeks back, he called me. He said, Dilip, I got my first job. I was delighted. Last week, he called me. He said, I got the second job. I was like in joy. And we are creating digital twins for people. And yesterday, I received this journal note from one of my coaching client. He said, I, he asked the AI tool about the type of work I should take up. And the answer was spot on. I should not stay within my comfort zone and I, I will get bored. If I should not go out of the comfort zone, if I go too far from comfort zone at once, I'll get overwhelmed. I should definitely move a little further from my comfort zone so that there is a balance. This is the answer from the digital twin for him. There is a saying, if you have five minutes to cut a tree, three minutes you sharpen the saw. When I was facing issues, I took help from coaches and improved myself. When Prabhas was having issues, he took help from three shift framework and digital twin and he got his success. How many of you here want similar success in your life? 
How many of you here want to improve your lives for better or clear interviews easily? If you have yes as an answer to any of them, and if you want to improve yourself, it is time to embrace three shift framework. And it is time to embrace your digital twin, especially for introverts, because introverts are very difficult for them to ask for help because they fear judgment. And I was one such person. But this powerful duo together can make a huge difference. See, digital twin may not be 100% right, but it will not be emotional like you, and it will give you a suggestion. Again, it doesn't remove the need for coaches, but every situation is unique, and not always you have a coach behind you. But if you have a friend who is like you, thinks like you, have the power of AI to support you, you have an opportunity to change your game. Prabhas got immensely benefited by it. It was a game changer for him, and it can be a game changer for you. Together, let's create our success. Shall we? Thank you.